in the shop there we go nope am i in the shop so guys just get my other camera up and running fantastic hope you guys can see me hope you guys can hear me so i wanted to talk to you about failure failure the term has actually become quite endearing to me i'm running around trying to attract failure so to my christian friends to my religious friends to my spiritual friends they say oh my god how can you say those words out of your mouth you're going to attract it yes i'm looking for opportunities to attract failure and you should be doing exactly the same thing as well so I put a post out on my Facebook page a couple of days ago um, I had an event things didn't go great and I failed but things have been going great for the last year in my event business I've been making thousands and thousands of pounds per month from the events and then all of a sudden I got a slap in the face but one of the reasons I'm so excited that it happened is because failure is your lesson so it sounds really elementary, but so many people are scared to fail, but you don't understand that your power is in the failure. The lessons are in the failure. So I'm saying in 2019, coming into 2020, yo, you've got to fail more. The problem is many people are scared to fail, but secondly, you're not failing because you're not even doing anything to get to the point of failing. Because I want you guys to understand this. When you fail, and I keep using this analogy, and I think it's incredible. When a football team is playing a match, so I'm going to use Manchester United. Manchester United have got a match. They play, they play really well, and they win, supposedly. I, I support Man U. I don't even know if they win anymore. But let's say Manchester United win. They go into the locker rooms. They start popping champagne bottles. They start slapping each other on the back, saying, well done, high five, and saying, oh, my God, we're the best team in the world. And then they go home. They celebrate. Then they come back for the next match. But imagine if they lost. It's a completely different ball game. They go into the locker rooms. They're all downtrodden. They're all beaten up. And then the manager's looking at them and saying, hey, before anyone goes home, we got to find out why we failed. What happened? Who did this? Who's responsible? What lessons do we need to learn from this failure so we can go into the next match? The point I'm trying to make is so many of us are not making enough efforts or doing enough to even get to the place of failing. So we don't learn the lessons that's associated with failing. You see, when you fail, it causes you to reassess, it causes you to restructure, it causes you to reanalyze. The thing is, when everything is going great, we don't have conversations with ourselves. We don't ask ourselves questions. We don't say, hey, do you know what? Everything is going great. Why would I touch something that's going great? But you don't realize that you're playing here at level one and things are going great. Yes, maybe you're making a little bit of money, but you're really supposed to be playing here at level seven, level eight, level nine, level 10. But you'll never get to level 10. Why? Because you're still playing down here. But the lessons you were supposed to learn are at level two. I hope this is making sense. I'm trying to encourage people to do more. I'm not talking about be irresponsible. I'm talking about take bolder steps, take bigger steps, take more action so that when you do fail, don't beat yourself up. Look at it on the other flip side and say, aha, I failed, but there's a lesson to be learned. The mistake so many people make is, guess what? They make a mistake in one business. So they shut down that business and they move into the second business, which is the dumbest thing ever. Because the mistake that you made was supposed to be learned from and then implemented back in that same business, back in that same situation. That's why they're lessons. But many people make one mistake, they beat themselves up, they say, hey, do you know what, maybe I can't do it. No, how about maybe you haven't reassessed what actually went wrong and built yourself back up. So I took two days out to assess what went wrong. But for the last year, things have been going great. I've been having phenomenal events and doing incredible figures and helping so many people get into property. But I didn't realize that I was playing here because this is where my mind was. But it took one failure for me to say, yo, do you know what? You've been playing it too small. So this is what you've got to do. This is the errors. These are the little leaks in your businesses. This is the mistakes that you are making. But I would never have assessed that if everything had been going great and great and great. Of course I was peed off. Of course I was because there was a financial cost. But hey, I've got two events coming up next week. Is it going to happen again? Absolutely not. But am I afraid of failing? No. Am I welcoming failure? Yes, because it's the only time 
the average person will assess what needs to be changed or what needs to be implemented in their lives and in their business. So I want to ask you guys who are watching this, when was the last time things were going great and you said, ah, things are going incredibly well for me right now. Let me see what's going on underneath the engine and let me see what I can tweak, what I can change and how I can take it to the next level. We don't do it. We don't do it. So I'm saying seek opportunities to fail. I'm not saying go and fail intentionally. I'm saying when you fail, which you will fail, when you fail, embrace the failure, take time out and pull out a piece of paper and write down what was happening before, what you did, what you need to change and what you need to implement. But I'm so excited about failing. I'm so excited. Like, I'm looking for every opportunity to say, hey, do you know what? What in my business isn't going well? What in my life isn't going well? What do I need to change? And that's where you start going to the next level. And you're going to see people like that we look up to, rich, famous people, wealthy people, enlightened people, people that we aspire to, to, to be like or, or to, as whatever the word is, to, to, to become like. We look at all of them and I guarantee you they spend a lot of their time self-analyzing. They ask themselves questions. They say, if I had done this this way, what could have been different? But the problem is the word failure is so dirty. The word failure is so ill. Don't work with that person. They failed. Yo, failure is your superpower. I failed in service accommodation. I failed in many of my businesses, but that's what makes me one of the best trainers because I can tell you what works and what doesn't work. I can tell you what didn't work for me, what I changed and what caused it to work again. But if you don't fail, how the flip are you going to know what genuinely works? This is such a big mistake. It, it, it's the biggest mistake that we're making is we're hiding from failure and failure is perceived as such a dirty word. That's why you never see any trainer or anyone in the public eye coming out and saying, hey guys, I failed. Because they're cowards. Because you're a coward. Because you don't want to face it yourself and you don't want the audience to perceive you as failing. I'm happy to share my failures on a day-to-day -day basis because it inspires people to know that even the people that they perceive as the gurus and the experts, they fail. It's normal for people to fail. What do you do next? That's my rant, guys. I'm trying to welcome people into this new age of failing. Accept failure. Hey, I tried this out. It didn't work. I flopped. Do you know what? It's not me. There's a lesson to be learned here. And when you learn that lesson, that's when you move to the next level. So again, that's my new term, 2018, 2019, 2020. Yo, fail. Fail big. Fail massively. Fail and learn the lesson you're supposed to learn. Because otherwise you're not going to grow. The growth happens in the failure. The growth happens when you're down. When you think everyone's out to get you. So you're sitting there in your quiet little space and you're saying, what went wrong? What went wrong? But most of the time we think it's us. We think we did something. We think the world is going to judge us. The world is going to judge you regardless. They're going to call you a failure in a negative way. So they're judging you regardless. Even if you do great and your business is doing great, they're still going to judge you and say, hey, this person cares so much about money. Or this person doesn't care about this. Or this person doesn't give to this charity. And this person doesn't. You're going to be hated regardless. So why not fail? And why not hold yourself accountable and say, look, you know what? I've got to change my life. I've got to do something about this. But either way, my rant is over. As I said, Facebook for me is therapy. Um, it's an opportunity for me just to say what I want to say. And um, hopefully it helps one or two people as well to overcome the idea that they've got to be this clean, um, pristine, this, this image online. No. Because I guarantee you, every single one of these training companies, every single one of these business people, they make mistakes as well. They fail. But the ones that are doing great are the people that fail and they pick themselves back up and they implement what they've reanalyzed, re-strategized, restructured. And then they grow. So go out there, take action, fail, reassess, reassemble, restructure. Yeah, but in order to fail, you've got to do. So again, those are my two favorite words, in fact, 
failure is now becoming my top word. So if you guys knew me two and a half, three years ago, my favorite word in the world was reciprocity, which is why I give so much. Because once you understand reciprocity, you understand that all you've got to do is give. And no matter what happens, you're going to get back. So if you focus on giving value all the time, things are always going to go great for yourself. So that was my favorite word, reciprocity. Number two, it was go and do. Number three, it's now failure. I'm excited, guys. I'll catch you soon. I look forward to seeing some of you guys soon and speaking to you guys soon. Peace. Bye-bye.